In business news, Nigeria's economy grew year on year in real terms by 2.25% in the third quarter of 2022, representing a 1.78% decline compared to the 4.03% growth recorded in Q3 2021. Well, that's according to the latest Gross Domestic Product report released by the National Bureau of Statistics. The Q3 GDP figures shows that slowdown in growth was attributed to base effects of the recession and the challenging economic conditions which had impeded production activities or productive activities in the country. However, the economy was dominated by non-oil sector which contributed 94.34% to the nation's GDP in Q3 while the oil sector contributed 5.6.33% in the preceding quarter. Essentially, the non-oil sector grew by 4.27% in real terms during the quarter in review, no lower than 1.18% compared to the rate recorded same quarter of 2021, and 0.5% lower than Q2 2022. The sector, driven mainly by information and communications trade, transportation, financial and insurance, agriculture and real estate accounting for positive GDP growth. Oil marketers under the aegis of Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Ipman, has warned that the price of petrol will increase from the current 165 naira per litre in order to address the lingering fuel scarcity gaining momentum across the country. National Controller of Operations of Ipman, Mr. Mike Kosatui, maintains that the members of the association had bought the products for 218 naira from the third party as the NNPC has refused to sell fuel to them adding that the rising price of landing cost of petrol is no longer sustainable to the marketers. He, however, noted that petrol is a political product in Nigeria and as it doesn't allow uh, follow dictates of the economy. Long queues were witnessed in many parts of Lagos yesterday and even at the moment uh, around Maryland, Ikeja, Bariga, Ilukpeju, Bagada areas. It's because people are becoming agitated and motorists because they spend hours on the queue. The development left commuters stranded with traffic jams in major areas in Lagos as motorists struggled to get the product. A federal high court in Lagos has ordered the federal government and the airline operators of Nigeria to maintain status quo over the proposed establishment of the national carrier, Nigerian Air. Justice Ambrose Lois Aleoga gave the status quo order pending the determination of the suit filed by six stakeholders uh, against the Nigerian Air and the partnership between the federal government and Ethiopian Airline. The court has equally adjourned proceedings on the matter through February 13, 2022. The airline operators of Nigeria had prayed the court to stop the national carrier deal and withdraw the air transport license already issued to Nigerian Air by the federal government through the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority. They also claimed that the firm that served as transaction advisor for the transaction, which was incorporated last year, in May last year, and alleged that the company is linked to the aviation minister. A business town hall kicked off in Lagos as Public Complaints Commission began systematic investigations into double taxation and its effect on businesses. A young ECOP reports. In the same way, the region has recorded more complaints on double taxation against businesses. The town hall initiative attracted complaints commissioners from different geopolitical zones in the country. The commission is trying to go all out to make sure there is peace and orderliness in the system. I'm going to tour all the local government. I've been to like four, three to four local government and then to make sure to make sure we give back justice and sanity to the grassroots. Speakers at the forum noted great hardships that many business operators have endured while paying multiple charges and taxes. We don't want to contribute twice in a year, in a, in a, uh, in a financial year. And that's why uh, 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 we have invited everybody, here, including the taxpayers themselves, to come and vent, vent out what they want to do. By law, we are required to summon you to come to our office to come and explain why you are doing what you are doing. 
The holding of the town hall initiative in Lagos is for systematic investigations into the problems of double taxations and to find solutions to them. We've got a lot of complaints on this multiple taxation. That's why I thought it right to bring up this town hall meeting on multiple taxation. And this is a way we can use to help, help small businesses to grow because if the taxes are too much, how will the businesses grow? A business owner within the Nigerian port paints a picture of the effects of sundry charges on his business. For you to convey a goods from one place to another in Lagos here is an issue. The transportation cost, you see a lot of people coming out to collect uh, fees that are not meant for them, that are not supposed to, be, to go into their ports. The fee is supposed to go to government ports, but they will now come and collect it and put it into their private ports. Expectations are that business practices, including taxations, would be made easier and more friendly for the investing public. If you're on ECOP TVC News, Lagos. In a bid to manage its foreign exchange market, the Ghanaian government says it is working on a new fiscal policy that will enable the country to buy all products with gold uh, rather than U.S. dollar reserves. U.S. President Mr. Mohammed, uh, Vi Vice President uh, Mr. Mohamedou uh, Bawami, who made the disclosure, explains that the battle for gold for oil would tackle dwindling foreign currency reserves coupled with demand for dollars by oil importers, which is uh, weakening the local cities and increasing the cost of living. Vice President Buwami explains that the implementation of this new policy will change the balance of payments and significantly reduce the persistent depreciation of the country's currency. He, however, noted that the policy will also prevent the exchange rate from directly impacting fuel and um, utility prices as uh, domestic sellers will no longer need foreign exchange in dollars to import all products. Finally, crude oil prices uh, were down, rose today despite the thin market liquidity after a week marked by worries about Chinese demand and haggling over the Western price caps on Russian oil. U.S. West Texas Intermediate Crude uh, experienced an upward review of 1.58% to sell at $79.17 per barrel. Brent sales uh, experienced an uptick of 1.08%, selling for $86.26 per barrel. Bonnie Light sells for $84.08, with an upsurge of 0.08%. For the OPEC basket, crude dealers offer $85.19, with a downward price review of 1.17%.